Hello and welcome. My name is Nilos. This is a new campaign or not a new campaign. Sorry, this is a new series of tutorials that I'm calling base in a book. So the idea is that I'll be creating blueprints and providing them to you in nice handy books for each stage of the game all the way to throughout the end of the game. If you have some suggestions, by all means, leave it in the comments what you should, uh, what I should help. This will be this will basically be for beginners or for lazy people or for just anyone to, to get things going uh, at a quite quick rate. Grab a blueprint and then uh, stamp them down. Then you won't, you won't be uh, be going completely off track here. So without further ado, let's start from the beginning because that uh, seems like a great place to start. Let's uh, assume that you've built your initial burning mining drills to get coal, also to get some iron. You're gonna have you have some copper as well, so you have the base materials. Now, in order to get the base going, you need a few things. So the first thing you actually want. First, we're going to have to uh, to do the basic, the first first research uh, automation so we can get machines because without that, there's really no point. Here we have a nice little blueprint book containing a few things. Let's take this one. This is red and green science, uh, red, red science and green circuits. Let's populate it. And let's not do that. See, yes, here. I like the fact that it's possible to just click on with Q click. Let's see if we turned it right way, and then it gets it in the hand. They pick them out. So this one will be, if I can remember what I was what I was doing. This one will be coils, and that one will be green circuits. This one will be gears and this will be red science and then we have everything up and running that one needs about there good so this is actually created and in order to start it we just need one two three one two three and you can see that it is now operational the reason why i combine these two is because they both need copper and and iron so it's only one place to fill it in and yes some of it will be going to one location some will go to the other location it is not being picked up by the lab because i have no research active so that thing just feed some iron and some copper if you see one of the items then fill in the other one and it'll keep going again you can of course limit these i rarely find it necessary to limit them because most of the work will be basically be whatever i put in that's what it's going to be using so that means we now have science working then we need to build our base let's do that down here I wish I could hit the right places. And this will be gears, gears and belts. And here, in order to get this going, oh, no copper, please. Thank you. So this one will be generating gears because we need gears for a lot of things. So why don't we just make them here? You can pick them up when you start working on the assemblers because or inserters because you cannot craft the insert the inserters in the first the first uh, assembly machine so they just have to be handcrafted but it's going to be a lot easier if you just pick these up and then start handcrafting away why is this not oh that's because i forgot that one here we are and that one will be going so that will produce a lot of of belts which is what you need in the beginnings when moving materials from the bases uh, sorry, from moving the materials from the mines to wherever you do this, this smelting. Now, the last thing that is kind of easy to get in the beginning, it's this thing here. Let's set this up. And we'll actually need to link this in. So this one is crafting furnaces you will need a lot of furnaces so it's a good idea to build it like this but what happens here is actually that we have this one is just feeding in here it's going to take a while and it's going to be a bit slow to begin but that's not really an issue it's just going to keep going for example this one 4.5k yep we are not going to need 900 these so it'll just keep going these ones also we need some stone bricks i at least i need stone bricks because i need i have <laughs> Think like for my um, my walking path so with that we are actually ready to start working on 
the next area, the smelting or well, the power we of course have. But that's uh, that's really all there is to it because it's assemblers, uh, inserters, sorry, they just have to be handcrafted and you just pick up the stuff from the various points and then you're good to go. So that's actually all there is to it. Three easy blueprints to get the tiny base going and all you need to do is these three locations. No, actually only two. Two locations to fill in. And yes, you can make it a hell of a lot more advanced in the beginning with piping things over. But in my opinion, it is not worth piping it over. For me, it's just click here and here. Click here. It could even be better. Go ahead and take half of it in here. Get up here. Get the other half. Get that half. Great. Now I have stuff. I need stuff here as well. I need stuff. And I need stuff. And then I'm off to, off to build some base. Anyway, that was a very quick little tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, subscribe, whatever, and comment, of course. So thank you for joining, and I'll see you in another little tutorial. Cheers.